Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make uh, this very cute little unicorn. You can use it um, as a charm for your bag or also you can hang it uh, for your car okay so what you're gonna need you'll need uh three kinds of yarn the white one then we have the pink one for the mane and the tail and then we have uh this orange or yellow one for the horn okay so the other materials are listed uh at the start at the beginning of the video okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the body and uh, for the body we're going to make two parts and so we're going to start with a chain 11 using the white yarn so we'll do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven okay and then now starting uh from the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochet all the way until the end for a total of 10 single crochets so we'll go we'll skip the first chain and go here and we'll do single crochet and then we'll continue making single crochet in each chain until we get to the end Okay, so after we get to the end, we're going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so when we turn, we're going to do single crochet all the way to the end. So we'll have a total of 10 single crochets. So continue and do single crochets. Okay, so after we are done with that, we'll do a chain one and then again in the third row, we are going to do single crochets across for a total of 10 single crochets. Okay, so we'll continue and do single crochet. And continue all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end of the row, we are going to do a chain one and turn. So now in our fourth row, we are going to do again 10 single crochets across. So single crochet in each stitch. So we'll do single crochet, single crochet, all the way until you get to the end. Okay, so after we get to the end of this row, uh, we're going to do chain four. So we'll do chain one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then after that, we are going to turn. And starting from the second chain from the hook, in the chain that we just made, we're going to do single crochet in each chain. So we'll have three single crochets over here. And then we'll continue to do single crochet in our 10 uh, single crochets in the previous row. 
so we'll have a total of 13 single crochets okay so we'll start here and do single crochet one again single crochet so remember this is the chain that we just made two and again another single crochet here so we'll have three okay and then we'll continue in our previous stitches so we'll continue to do single crochets all the way until we get to the end so you'll have 13 single crochets so after we get to the end we are going to do a chain one and turn okay so now for the next five rows which is row five until row nine we are going to do single crochets all the way across uh, in each row for a total of 13 single crochets in each row okay so in the next row which is row five we are going to continue and do single crochets single crochet all the way until you get here at the end and then again you do a chain one and turn so you'll continue like that until you get to the ninth row and always remember to do a chain one at the end of the very row before you turn okay so i'll see you when you're done with the ninth row and then we'll start the tenth row together Okay, so after we are done with that, we'll do a chain one and then again in the third row, we are going to do single crochets across for a total of 10 single crochets. Okay, so we'll continue and do single crochet. And continue all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end of the row we are going to do a chain one and turn so now in our fourth row we are going to do again 10 single crochets across so single crochet in each stitch so we'll do single crochet single crochet all the way until you get to the end Okay, so after we get to the end of this row, uh, we're going to do chain four. So we'll do chain one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then after that, we are going to turn. And starting from the second chain from the hook in the chain that we just made, we're going to do single crochet in each chain. So we'll have three single crochets over here. And then we'll continue to do single crochet in our 10 uh, single crochets in the previous row so we'll have a total of 13 single crochets okay so we'll start here and do single crochet one again single crochet so remember this is the chain that we just made two and again another single crochet here so we'll have three okay and then we'll continue in our previous stitches so we'll continue to do single crochets all the way until we get to the end so you'll have 13 single crochets so after we get to the end we're going to do a chain one and turn okay so now for the next five rows which is row five until row nine we are going to do single crochets all the way across uh, in each row for a total of 13 single crochets in each row okay so in the next row which is row five we are going to continue and do single crochets single crochet 
all the way until you get here at the end and then again you do a chain one and turn so you'll continue like that until you get to the ninth row and always remember to do a chain one at the end of the very row before you turn okay so i'll see when you're done with the ninth row and then we'll start the tenth row together okay so after the ninth row this is how our little unicorn looks like okay so now i've already done a chain one so i'm just going to turn and now in our tenth row we are going to do five single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four and five okay and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the next four rows which is row 11 until 14 we are going to do single crochets all the way until the end for a total of five single crochets in each row okay so we'll just continue and do single crochet one two three four five so now we are making the neck so this is the head over here so now this is the neck we are making so we're going to do a chain one and turn okay and you're going to continue like that until you get to the 14th row and then we'll start the 15th row together Okay, so now we're getting to the end of row 14 so we'll do a chain one and turn okay so for the 15th row we're going to do single crochets so one two three four and five so now we're going to start making uh, the, the other part, the lower part of the body. So we're just going to do a chain 13. So we'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, so now we're just going to turn like that and uh, starting from here until the end uh, we're going to do single crochets all the way until here at the end okay so we'll have a total of 17 single crochets because we'll have 12 and 5 over here starting from the second chain from the hook okay so we're just going to start to do single crochets so we have to make sure um, our body is in the right direction so starting from the here we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve Okay, and then we continue to our previous stitches 
so 13 14 15 16 and 17 so we'll do chain one and turn okay so now here we'll continue and do single crochets all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 17 single crochets okay so continue and do single crochet single crochet all the way until you get here at the end okay so that's the end of row 16 so we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now for the next seven rows which is row 17 until row 23 we are going to do single crochets on the way until the end for a total of 17 single crochets in each row okay so continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet all the way until the end so do that until you get to row 23 which is the next seven rows okay and then remember to do a chain one at the end of every row so i'll see you at the end of row 23 so that we start row 24 together Okay, so at the end of row 23, this is how our little unicorn looks like. So now we're going to start making the legs and we're going to do a chain one and turn. So now in the 24th row, we are going to do four single crochets. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four, okay and then we'll do a chain one and turn so now from the next row which is um row 25 until row 32 which is a total of seven rows we are going to do four single crochet all the way across um in each row for a total of four single crochets in each row okay so now in the 25th row we are going to do four single crochets and we'll continue with four single crochets until we get to the 32nd row okay so you continue and do four single crochets in the 25th row and then chain one and turn so continue like that until you get to row 32 and then we'll finish up together okay so now this is the last row of the leg that we're doing which is row uh, 32 so we're going to do single crochet all the way until the end okay so to finish up I'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn like that and then we'll finish up later okay so now i'm going to make the other leg and i'll come here at the end of uh this row that we left off over here and i'll attach my yarn here like that okay and then i'll do a chain one and then starting in the same stitch that we attached the yarn we are going to do a single crochet over there and then we'll do again other three single crochets so that is single crochet one two three and four so that is the uh 25th row 
okay sorry that's the 24th row so again we'll do a chain one and turn so in the 25th row again we'll do single crochets until the end like that okay so again for single crochets so you'll continue all the way until the 32nd row or until you have the size same as this one okay so after you're done you'll also cut off the yarn same as this and then we'll make the next part of the body same way as we did this so you'll have something like this as you can see okay okay so and then after we are done we'll join the two parts together okay so finish up and then i'll show you how to join the two parts together and then we'll make the the little horn over here the ear and then also the tail okay so after we're done with both parts this is how they look like as you can see so now we are going to join them together and we are going to uh, make sure all the parts are adjacent to each other and we're going to start here at the very end by joining the two legs over here so I'll just attach my yarn here so make sure you go on both legs as you can see okay and then I'll do a chain one like that and now to join all the parts together I'll do single crochets in each stitch all uh, in both uh, parts so we'll start where we've just joined and we'll do a single crochet there okay and I'll continue to the next stitch as you can see on both parts and I'll do single crochet and we'll continue like that all the way through single crochet so the last stitch of the leg okay and then we'll continue to the other side as you can see so I'll come here and do single crochet and continue single crochet like that okay so this is how it looks at the front and at the back as you can see okay so we'll continue doing single crochet all the way like this all the way around until we get here when we get here we're going to stuff a little bit before closing up the whole thing so I'll show you how we'll stuff when we get here okay so just continue doing your single crochets so guys as you can see when I got here I started to stuff my unicorn a little bit so I added a little bit of fiber in here you can see and a little bit on the head before I continue to crochet or to seal both parts okay and then after that I'll just continue with my single crochets or joining the two parts together Okay, so I'll continue like that and before I join all these parts together all through I'll just continue filling um, 
inside with a little bit of fiber all the way until the end okay so it depends on how puffy you want your unicorn to be if you don't want it to be so puffy just put a little bit of fiber but if you want it a little bit puffy just put it uh, put a little bit more fiber okay so continue joining all the way to the end okay so now after we are done this is how our little unicorn looks like so I'm just going to finish off over here. I'm just going to do a single crochet and chain one like that and cut off the yarn. Okay, and then I'll finish finish up by tying the two yarns together. And cut it off. Okay, so there we go. This is how our little unicorn body looks like. So we're just going to embroider uh, the eye over here and the mouth and then we're just going to make um, the ear, the horn and then uh, we're just going to make the little thing over here for the unicorn. Um, I don't know what the name is, you get it, over here. And then the tail over here. So now let's make the ear. So for the ear, we're going to start with the magic ring and then we'll do four single crochets into the magic ring. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then I'll pull my yarn to close the gap. And then I'll place my marker over here. So in the second row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase, and then again single crochet, then increase. So we'll have a total of six stitches. Okay, so I'm just going into the next stitch and do single crochet. And then I'll increase in the next stitch. And then again, I'll do single crochet. And increase in the last stitch. Okay, so that's six single crochets. Now in the third row, we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then increase in the next one and repeat again. And then we'll have a total of eight stitches. Okay, so we'll do single crochet, single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. And repeat that one more time. So we'll have single crochet. Single crochet. And increase in the last stitch. Okay, so now in the next row, which is the fourth row, we're going to do single crochets all the way round. So we'll have a total of eight stitches. So you'll do single crochet, single crochet, and continue doing single crochet all the way to the end. Okay. 
okay so now to finish up my little ear I'm just going to join the two sides together like that and then I'll do four single crochets across both sides okay so I'll do single crochet in both sides one two three and four okay and then after that I'll just do chain one and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing so that's our little ear it's gonna go here on top okay so now let's make the horn and uh, we're going to use the yellow color or the orange color so for my horn I'm going to use this orange color and we'll start by doing four single crochets into the magic ring okay so magic ring and then four single crochets one two three and four okay so pull up the yarn to close the gap like that okay and then I'll take my marker and place it over here okay so now in the second row we're going to do single crochet then increase and we'll repeat twice for a total of six single crochets so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat again so single crochet and increase okay so now in the third row we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of six stitches Okay, so you continue and do single crochet, single crochet, okay, so all the way to the end. Okay, so after we are done with that row, I'm just going to remove my marker and then I'll join the two sides together and I'll do three single crochets across both sides, okay. So I'll do single crochet one and then single crochet two and single crochet three. Okay, so here that's the little horn so I'm just going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so after that we're going to make the tail and uh, the little thing over here and we're going to use the pink yarn so they're both uh, the same pattern here and here so I'll just show you one and then you make the tail Okay, so for the main, the main is uh, the thing over here. So I'm just going to do chain 21. So I'll do chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so continue until you have 21 chains. And 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, so after the chain 21, we are going to start to crochet from the second chain from the hook and in that chain we are going to do three single crochet 
in the same chain so I'll do single crochet one and in the same chain I'll do another single crochet and again the third single crochet in the same chain okay so I'll do the same in the next chain so I'll do three single crochets in the same chain so single crochet one single crochet two and single crochet three okay so we'll do uh, three single crochet in each chain all the way across so we'll have a total of 60 single crochets okay so continue doing three single crochet in each chain until you get here at the end okay so when you get to the end you'll have something like that looks like this so you just cut off the yarn and leave it long enough for sewing okay so you you make two like this so we have the main and the tail okay so the main goes on top here and the tail goes over here okay so now let's join all our parts together and embroider the eye and the mouth Okay, so as you can see, I've already attached all the parts together. So what I did is here at the front of the head, I attached the horn first. Okay, so like that, this is how it looks from the back. And then again here at the very end, I attached the ear. So starting from the very end until somewhere here at the middle. And then for the main, you attach it. Uh, you attach it between the horn and the ear, drilling downwards here towards the face. And then, as you can see here, I embroidered uh, the little eye and mouth. So what what I usually do is I use a marker first to mark where I'm gonna embroider. And same here at the bottom for the mouth and uh, for the tail you embroider it here at the corner for of the body here uh, just like that okay so that's it uh, for this video if you have any questions you can um, ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it will really support my channel thank you so much guys for watching until next time bye